Hi, this is Jay Billis of ESPN, and you're listening to the ML Sports Platter. Back with you on the ML Sports Platter. Great to have you back via 12 different platforms. You can download, subscribe, and leave a five-star review and some feedback. That stuff helps an awful lot. Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and many others. We are supported by Timberbanks Golf Club, the Wolfenden Law Firm, and James Fiorentino Artwork, as well as a big tip of the cap to the Brewerton Diner. Get there for breakfast and lunch. Ask about the Grubhub program and, of course, their savings program as well. Well, as you know, this platform is also presented by the title sponsor and college, uh, Bryant and Stratton College. Uh, you can visit bscbobcats.com and bryantstratton.edu. Cannot wait uh, to continue my coverage of uh, Bobcats Athletics. And there's been some big news. As of recent weeks, Clay Sherman, he was hired in the middle of this month, February, as we record this, uh, as the new Bobcats women's basketball coach. We'll get his story on how he ended up at Bryant and Stratton, where he's from, the background, and all the rest. Bryant and Stratton. College women's basketball coach Clay Sherman joins us, and you can get him on Twitter at Clay underscore Sherman. Clay, thanks for a few minutes, and congrats on the gig. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. How did you end up at Bryant and Stratton? How did the whole sequence go? Take us through the timeline. Um. So yeah, I uh, I, I saw the job opening. Um, I've been pursuing collegiate basketball. I'm coaching collegiate basketball for a while, uh, and Syracuse is actually the exact area I want to live. Um, my new fiance, um, Caitlin Gagan, lives. Uh, she grew up in East Syracuse. Oh, you're so in trouble. Kind of, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it was a, it was a perfect storm, kind of. And uh, you know, I applied for the job. Uh, went through the the interview process and went really well. And yeah, so got the job. And super pumped about it. Well, look, Brian Stratton and and myself, uh, we've been partnered up here for a year or two, and it's been an exciting last year. The momentum and the potential of the sports programs that they've launched. Uh, how much of the potential part really factored into this job for you in terms of taking over? Uh, a, you know, well, not taking over, but you know, starting up this women's hoops program. The momentum that's been at Bryant and Stratton. How much did that play a part? Oh, it played a massive part because you know, like you said, the the potential is just it's through the roofs. I mean, the support from the community, the support from the college. Um, the support from our athletic director, you know, one of the things he told me is you can make this as big as you want. And just look what he did with the soccer program. I mean, they've been to the national championship, I think, the last four years. And um, they're looking to go back next year and win one. So, you know, the potential's through the roof. I'm looking to be highly competitive and be competing for that national championship myself in the very near future. Give my listeners a little bit of a... Um, an idea of you know where you come from, where everything started for you in terms of your interest in being a head coach. Absolutely. Um, so I grew up in upstate New York. Um, I uh, actually went to Willsboro Central School, a small uh, school um, in the North Country, and then I went to Plattsburgh State University, uh, where I played. I actually played soccer for four years um, at Plattsburgh State University for Chris Waterbury. Um, during my time there, I was a student manager um, for Coach Tom Curl and Coach Cameron Conover for the Plaster State men's basketball team. Wow. And that's where, you know, my passion for coaching specifically and definitely basketball grew. I saw what those guys did up in Plattsburgh and how they used the game as a platform to, you know, really teach kids, get them their education and teach young men how to become, you know, you know, young men. And then... You know, once I graduated college, I knew coaching was the route I wanted to go. And uh, out of college, I got a junior college soccer coaching job. Had a great experience at Clinton Community College. And then um, coached there for three years. Um, and then I actually coached at a local high school. Started coaching basketball at Shea C Central School, where, you know, they have a great program up there for soccer. But the basketball co- culture wasn't necessarily there yet. And, you know, kind of similar to Brian Stratton, I got to, you know, reboot a program and got a lot of buy-in from the kids. And, you know, that we did a great job in two seasons there. We ended up with 22 wins, and it was a blast. What is your recruiting philosophy? Do you have one? Um, you know, I'm looking to recruit high-character kids. I'm looking for kids that are 
hungry to be highly competitive, hungry, you know, to continue their education. And, you know, I'm looking for, you know, to bring in leaders and people that want to win in both the classroom and on the, on the court. And, you know, that's just going to carry over to success in life. We're talking uh, right here with uh, Clay Sherman, the new women's basketball coach at Bryant and Stratton College. And again, you can follow Coach Sherman on Twitter. It's at Clay underscore Sherman. Um, give me uh, some of your uh, favorite basketball uh, uh, coaches who you've tried to, you know, kind of emulate, I guess, and, and, and take some things from. Do you have any, I guess, so quote unquote idols in the business? Um, I mean, so I grew up watching, uh, I mean, I know I'm in Syracuse now, but I grew up watching Duke basketball with my mom. Um, I love Coach K. But, uh, and then at the same time, I grew up watching Syracuse basketball with my father, Jim Beheim. So those two guys are, you know, very, I mean, de- very debatable that they're the best two in the game right now. And, you know, I grew up watching them, watching, you know, them ripping their jackets off, getting excited watching the games, you know, and just kind of following those two programs and the success of those two programs and the athletes that went through there and just how they really became national powerhouses. So, I mean, I guess Bayheim and Coach K are the two that, you know, I really look up to. You know, it's incredible how they've for, forged that friendship as well and, and you know, Coach K's using the zone now and all that sort of thing. And, you know, Jimmy, uh, he's been coaching quite a while, so uh, you could probably Absolutely. put t- you could put 10 years in at Bryant and Bayheim might still be at Syracuse. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that, that's crazy. And you know what? Um, also, uh, Coach Q is, you know, I, I recently met him and, you know, just witnessing what he's done in the women's program at Syracuse is, you know, it's really exciting to me because he kind of, you know, he brought that program, you know, out of the dark in, yeah. in his time there. And, you know, they went to the national championship sure. and uh, they've been extremely competitive, top of the ACC. And, you know, I met him and he's just a super genuine guy, super sincere guy. And, you know, people like that are what it's all about. Yeah, he's been really doing a well of a job. A um, couple more for you, Clay. Again, Clay Sherman with us, head coach of the women's Bobcat team for Bryant and Stratton College. You can check out bscbobcats.com, the official title sponsor in college of the ML Sports Platter uh, as well. Um, when you look at basketball... <laughs> My golden retriever decided to get involved. Um, yeah, when, right. when when you look at basketball today, the way it's played, the you know bobbing and weaving, combo guards, uh, positionless players. Where are we going next? Is this going to continue this style? Do you think the big man's going to come back at some kind of, at some point? Where are we at stylistically with the game of basketball? You know, I think the game is definitely you know the floor has been stretched out with just constant or a consistent ability to shoot the basketball. So spacing, everything like that is definitely growing. But, you know, you say, will the big man come back? I, you know, absolutely. But at the same time, I think the bigs are going to be able to, and they already are starting to, be able to stretch the floor themselves, put the ball on the floor, and attack the rim from the perimeter. So it's just, you know, bigger, faster, stronger, and then you add the skills to that. And, you know, I, I really think that's the direction everything's going, and it just makes sense. Uh, final one for you, uh, Danny Fursina is obviously a, a friend of mine and the head basketball coach uh, at Bryant and Stratton. He comes on weekly on the podcast. Uh, what, what is your early uh, sort of thought about him in year one and, and what he's doing to start the program and what kind of a relationship have you formed with Danny so far, Clay? Um, Danny's been great. Um, he's been super supportive in my first couple weeks on the job. You know, we're getting ready for a New York City trip coming up shortly. Um, but yeah, he's, he's done a great job with this men. Um, you know, they had a, a successful year. They are really competitive in a lot of their games. And, you know, he, he seems to have a good group of guys that, you know, enjoy being part of the team. And he's hoping to bring in some kids that are going to take them to that next level. But yeah, Danny's a great guy. He's great to work with, and he's been super supportive so far. Boy, you know they they were in a lot of games this year too. You know, oh, just a couple points here and there, um, and it was uh, it, you know it's one of those things though. You know how it goes, Clay. I mean, the the the, the ups and downs of a season and all the rest, and the, the the fact of the matter is, one possession here, one possession there, in three four games, it can change the whole dynamic of a season. Oh yeah, that's and that's what it is. It's those those possessions at the end of the game. I mean, it's either make a shot, miss a shot. You know, the foul is called, the foul is not called. You make you're making your free throws or not, and 
that's yeah, that's what it comes down to in a lot of close games. All right, you know what? I, I wanted to sneak one more in actually. Um, are you yeah. with the referees? Are you a uh, are you a stomper? Are you a yeller? Are you calm on the baseline? How? <laughs> give me, come on, give me a sneak. Are you going to run out there like Buzz Williams? What are you going to? Uh, what, what, what can I look forward to here? <laughs> you know, I mean, my first year, I might have been considered a stomper or a screamer. But, um, okay. you know, after after a year of head coaching, I kind of realized the importance of having that composure, establishing that relationship with the referee kind of before the game, you know, showing them that you respect them. And that's what basketball is all about. It's all about respect. And, you know, especially when it comes to the refs. So you have to be able to, yes, it, it's a very difficult job to referee a basketball game. And I understand that. And but if they do mess up, you have to be able to let them know that, hey, like that just can't happen. I, I expect better. But at the same time, I understand that it's not easy. So just having that relationship with a referee and be able to express um, express that you're not necessarily happy with the call. If if they make a bad call in a in a professional way so they they understand it and, you know, they're more likely to. uh you know, work with you at that point and other than just yelling and stuff. But I mean, that's not saying that I'm a hundred percent composed all the time because basketball is a fast paced game and I get, I'm extremely passionate and I get fiery at moments. I love it. Clay Sherman, women's basketball head coach at Bryant and Stratton college, Syracuse and get him on Twitter at clay underscore Sherman. Clay, this was outstanding. I look forward to having you on repeatedly Uh, Let's follow each other back and forth on Twitter. I'll help push the program through what we're doing with the Bobcats now. And, uh, hey, I wish you all the best, man. Hey, thank you so much for having me on the show. I appreciate it so much as well, and I look forward to speaking in the future. For more on Bryant and Stratton College Athletics, go to bscbobcats.com. Bryant and Stratton College, the official college of the ML sports platter hit this podcast all over 12 platforms spotify google Podcasts, and apple Podcasts. download subscribe leave feedback and a five-star review and you can get me on twitter at mike l sports as well as i always tell you enjoy the games <laughs>